Hey y'all, it's March the 7th, 2016, and as you might be aware, we are smack dab in the middle of what is called the tribulation, the end of days, and this has been spoken about clearly and emphatically in a book that you might have heard of and it's called the Bible, all right? A lot of people think about the tribulation and the fact that the end of days is upon us and a lot of cowards, spineless folks that say, well, you know, it's coming. It's it's a coming. There's nothing that we can do to stop it. <clears throat> so we might as well just go ahead and let it do whatever it does. And, you know, let's not worry about it. Why worry? All right. What will happen will happen. All right. I'm not saying to worry about anything. Never will you hear me tell you to worry about anything. What I'm suggesting is that you concern yourself with concerning matters such as this one, the reason that you would concern yourself of the tribulation of the end of days is that you want to be on the right side. There is only two sides, truly. There is only the side of good and evil. All right, a lot of folks, pretty much everybody would be dancing on that line. Some folks have burrowed themselves on the side of good and some died further and further down the rabbit hole of evil. And you want to be on the right side. Let me tell you why. Because if you're not, where you will end up is the waste basket of eternity. Where you will end up is nowhere. All right? Forever. You don't have to take my word for it. I'm just merely telling you the truth. All right. Getting that out of the way, I'm sure I've described that to you all many times. And I will describe it to you as much as I can before this game is over and done with. <clears throat> Getting that out of the way, the true meaning of this video is an initiation, the beginning of a movement in which I will carry forth until the end of my days. And that is a movement standing firmly, unwaveringly, unabashedly against child abuse. And especially child sexual abuse. I have no empathy for those who carry on that matter. All right. And listen, I'm not going to name names. I don't have to name names. But let me tell you something. This uh, hits very close to home for me. In that I know not just one, but at least two people. And if they ever see this video, don't be confused. Yes, I'm talking about you. Mm -hmm. you might as well think of that song by Phil Collins in the air, in the air tonight. Yeah. I'm talking about you. You might be like, well, I'm not sure whether or not you're talking about. Yes. I'm talking about you. I know what you've done. I know it. You'll probably continue to do past this video. I know it. There isn't a shred of doubt in my mind. Not one. You think that I, I think maybe I don't. No, I know. I know. Not only that, I mean, shoot. If you never see this video, uh, if you never see it, doesn't make no difference because God knows what you've done. There's no escape in it. A lot of people might see this video and they might ask, well, you know, shoot, man, does that make you an enabler of this, of these actions? <clears throat> it would. It would make me an enabler if I never spoke out about it. But guess what? I'm going to speak out about it and speak out about it and work against it to the very uh, limits of my strength. From here on out, I will be a voice that you can't shut up. Not only that, I don't have enough hard evidence to get these folks in trouble. All right, the way that our legal system is set up, man, you know that'd be pretty much impossible, wouldn't it? But luckily, like I said, God knows what you've done. You're not going to escape what you've done. The only chance that you have now is to repent to Jesus. All right, and let me tell you something. It's probably never going to happen, is it? Right? It's probably never going to happen. In fact, if you ever see this video, you might you might say, oh, shoot, that might be the way out. Let me go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to repent to Jesus. Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me for what I've done. You know that I'm weak, right? I didn't mean to. That's just the way that my brain works, and I can't help myself. Let me tell you something. You're, you're cheating, but you're not cheating anyone but yourself, truthfully. Because I know what you've done. You know what you've done, right? Let me tell you something else. If you see this video, here's the only way that you could ever repent. All right. The only way that you could ever repent from what it is you've done is to go to 
the prison system, the actual prison system, and let them know what you've done. Tell them when you've done it, because I know that you remember. Tell them how you've done it. And take whatever punishment it is that they give you. And granted, I, I seriously doubt that it will be enough punishment for what you've done. But still, that'll be enough to go ahead and repent. You have to go and turn yourself in, and you have to face punishment. This is something I know that you won't do. And so you put yourself in a trap that you'll never get out of, ever. And you're going to wonder why you lose sleep at night. From here on out, you're going to wonder why diseases plague you and the people that you so-called love. From here on out, you're going to consider yourself a victim like you've always considered yourself. Uh, and it's just going to be a vicious, endless cycle. Until you end up where? In the wastebasket of eternity, like I'd already said. That being said, now that I got that out of the way... And trust me, you'll hear me talking about it more and more and more and more. And you're going to see me working against it more and more and more and more. Because I don't want to end up in the wastebasket of eternity. I'm not going to. I'm going to have a clear conscience. I'm going to sleep well at night. You're going to see the covenant of God all around me from here on out. And it's been all around me. And I can't be more happier about it. That being said, I want to, I want to touch on this issue. Because it's a very big issue. I left a link down at the bottom. Right? You can see a much more detailed uh, video concerning this issue. Like I said before, I've never been raped to my knowledge. In my life, uh, I thank God for that. Just like I thank God for everything else. Because I know that that would be something very harsh to deal with. Something that would try my strength to a, to a great a great extent. It's probably the hardest thing for anyone to deal with here on this earth, is to be sexually molested in such a way. But that being said, I do want to get a little bit personal with y'all, in that I have been circumcised like most people born in America. Most men, they were circumcised as children. Right. And that in and of itself, I don't remember it, but that right there is a traumatic experience. It will affect you for the rest of your life, whether you can even remember it or not. Right. And what we need to do as a society, if we're trying to be on the side of righteousness, is we need to think, why are we continuing to do this? It doesn't seem to make any sense. Scientifically, it just doesn't add up, does it? Mm -mm. No, it doesn't. Some of y'all might be confused out there. You might, you might uh, go ahead and quote scripture and say, look, man, you know... Uh, Bible a long time ago, he said, hey, listen, God, he came down, he said, hey, man, y'all got to start circumcising yourselves on the penis, right? And uh, this is going to be a way of showing that y that y'all have a covenant with me. You might, you might look at that scripture and say, well, you know, that's enough reason to do it. It says it in the Bible. Well, yeah, it does say that in the Bible. And also, if you keep reading it, there's a point in scripture where it mentions, you know what, uh, that whole circumcision of the penis thing, that's not even necessary. It's not. You don't have to continue doing it. All right. What you have to do is circumcise your heart. And you don't do it physically, you just do it spiritually. And so there's less and less and less and less reason for circumcisions of the penis to even be taking place here. All right. There's more and more and more and more and more reasons explaining why it shouldn't take place here. My parents went ahead and did it to me and to my brothers and stuff. The thing is, I don't necessarily blame them. I forgive them. In fact, they did not know any better. Y'all out there, you see in this video, you do know better. You know, you know enough uh, to go ahead and do research at least to be educated. You're gonna have a baby. And you're going to know nothing about having babies? And you think that's responsible? Mm. Well, this is the very beginning, like I said, of me covering and counter-attacking against what little rape culture exists here in America. And understand that rape culture exists uh, a lot more in various other countries. It indeed does exist here, and guess what? People like me and you, we're going to stop it out. All right, there's going to be a point in this nation no matter what you call it, it's called America or anything else, there's going to be a point in this nation when that is just no longer tolerable. Right. That, that's most likely going to take place after the tribulation is over and done with. This is March the 7th, 2016.